Good morning, everybody. I am coming to you today from my house because I'm having the day off today, but I'm still coming on live to talk to everybody. And today it is for me the very last day of the year of 2022. And I know some people still have to work next week. Yeah, I'm having a couple of weeks off after this week, which is really cool. And I just want to come on and talk about the year that was and what it was like for us. And what did we take away from 2022? What, what did we do? What achievements did we make? What achievements did you make in your 2022? Was there something that you would have liked to have done differently? Are you happy with the achievements that you have made in 2022? So this is a really great time to reflect and look back at the year that was. And a great activity for this, and I never used to do this, but I have started doing this recently in past years, is writing a list of all of the things that I achieved in the year. Because you'd be surprised at the things that you have done and the things that you've achieved without you actually recognizing it. So I get out my trusty art journal and I start to create a little bit of a list and just look at the great things that I've done throughout that year because we never seem to value what we don't seem to value the things that we do, but it's something that we don't do for ourselves. We don't give ourselves recognition. And a part of the year end process for me is to be giving myself recognition and using that art journal and that creative process to be able to look at all of those things that, that I've done. And this is something that you could do for yourself. And I know lots of people are doing vision boards at the moment. And I've got to be honest, I love a good vision board, but vision boarding is great for looking forward. But do you ever look back at the achievements that you have made, created, that you've done throughout that year? So it's great to look forward, but it's also amazing to reflect and look back and give yourself a little bit of a pat on the back for all of the things that you've done throughout that year. And sometimes they might be just little things. It doesn't have to be anything that amazing or fantastic. They can just be little achievements for you that you've set goals for throughout that year. And once you start writing those down, the things that you've done will start to flow. And then that'll put you in a really good space then to be able to work on the next year. So next year being 2023, I'm actually really excited for 2023. I've got lots of stuff happening in the business, which is great. And I'll share a little bit. I have a new staff member coming on next year, Vanessa, who is a beautiful woman. She's coming on as one of my art teachers for my children's groups in the studio. She'll be working in the afternoons with all of the kids. Watch out for her. She'll also be doing some other programs with adults throughout the year as well. So really exciting to have her on the team with me. I've also got another amazing lady coming in as a counsellor. So Fatima is coming in as a counsellor next year as well. So just working alongside with a client base. So that will be really exciting too. So the little team is growing. And of course, I've got my beautiful Jane, who looks after all of the <laughs> amazing back end stuff and does all of the social media. You may have received notices or emails from Jane. So she's um, really cool as well, sitting there in the background. But I could almost say it's like her sitting side by side with me in the office because we do talk a lot. It's great. So I would like to acknowledge her as well because she's been very instrumental in the growth of the business this year. So it's been very exciting having her working with me too. So thanks, Jane. But I'm going to do my little reflection and I'm going to maybe pop it up and let you have a look at it. And yeah, just reflect back on the year that was. Now, in the new year, I have some great things coming up in January. 
So we've got the Zoom Masterclass in on the 23rd at 6.30. That is online and I'll get Jane to pop the, the links in. We've also got, if you're in the local area, because I have a studio in the Rellenvale where I run all my classes from, I'm actually going to be doing a face-to-face get together as well in the studio so if you want to come and do a face-to-face meet up with me oh I'm really excited to be doing this one I haven't done face-to-face for ages that's on Tuesday the 24th at 7 p.m so it is limited to 20 people there is going to be some catering so if you do want to come please RSVP so I can organize the catering part of it it is free so really great opportunity to come and see my studio have a little bit of a exploration of art therapy and how it works come and test it out before you join something and yeah, you don't have to pay for it, which is even better. I come along to that. And so that's in the MacArthur region. So southwest of Sydney in near Camden is where I'm located. So if you're in that area, please let me know. And you can pop a little note below in the chat and I can get Jane to send you an invite. And I've also still got the uh, the life's journey continuing to run so we're on again tonight and that's every fortnight I will be taking a little two-week break and then we'll be back in the new year and the other exciting thing is the Creative Abundance Academy will be starting in January so if you are in business and you want to kickstart your business and break out of your I'm going to say (laughs) self-limiting beliefs, negative mindset, or sometimes you just think I need a little bit of a buddy to be by my side, to give me a kick up the butt every now and again, this is for you. So we will be working closely every fortnight with you and your business, working through anything that it is that you need to work through. Now, I have been in business for around 25 years, previously as an accountant and business advisor, and now working in the art therapy space. So overlaying those two parts together of business and wellness, mental wellness. So when we're good on the inside, our business will shine on the outside. Uh, This is the thing I love working with. And if you're in that business space, this is a great place to be because we'll have a lot of beautiful people connecting into that creative space. We'll be doing a lot of art therapy processes. It includes the Life Journey program. So if you join the Creative Abundance Academy, you actually get the Life's Journey program included in that 12-month package. You also get the Mindset Mojo, which is another great shop, plus a couple of intensive workshop days throughout the year. And also the group, of course, and access to working with me as well. So it's all very exciting for 2022. I cannot wait. I've got some other things coming up in January as well, which I won't share now. That'll come a little bit later after the holiday. And a couple of us will be coming up in the studio. So face-to-face workshops in February and also the retreat in March. So early March, we've got the retreat up at the Blue Mountains again that Diane and I will be, it was a sellout last year and tickets have already started to sell for next year. I should say it was a sellout this year. It was in July, I feel like it was a hundred years ago. So March, we're taking deposits. So you only need to pay a deposit to secure your spot and uh, you can just get in and, get on that because it's own, that one's limited to 10 people only so the beautiful blue mountains fully catered for all accommodation and all activities included in the price so all you have to do is land just arrive there with yourself everything else is provided for you and it's an amazing weekend of connection <coughs> connecting back to yourself and we do lots of yoga 
lots of meditation, some bushwalking, lots of art therapy. It's a very connected three days with everybody. We had lots of breakthroughs this year, some amazing outcomes for people that came to the uh, the retreat and it filled my heart with joy, to be honest. I loved it. Diane and I just have still been talking about it six months later and we cannot wait for next in March for the next retreat. So lots of stuff happening. But coming back to what I was talking about today with reflection, are you going to challenge yourself to reflect on the year that was good, bad or ugly or beautiful could have been, might have been lots of different things. I know I've had lots of great achievements, but reflecting on what you've done for the year That is the challenge for today. Yes, Elena, no, I can't wait for the retreat either. (laughs) It's going to be so good. And knowing what that food was like, I'm like, I'm just thinking about that. The guys that run the retreat space actually do all of the cooking for you. So you don't even have to lift a finger. You just sit at a table and your food is served to you. (laughs) It's just unbelievable. The most unbelievable experience. So Yeah, speak to Elaine if you want to find out what the retreat was like because she came to the last one and she's rebooked again for the next one. I'm sure she'll give you some feedback on that. Don't just take my word for it. Yeah, so reflection, back to the reflection for the year. I'd love to hear what you've got to reflect on. Share it with the group because we're all here to support each other. We are a community. We are all here to support each other. And that is the purpose of this community is just to give everybody the support that they need in life or in business. And I know that lots of people that are in this group are very supportive and supportive of not only myself and my team, but of each other. And there's been a lot of beautiful friendships formed within this group as well that I know of. So please be in the group and share. Like we love to hear your stories. We love to hear what your reflections are. If you've got art to share, if you've got poetry that you'd like to share, please do that. You can also share anonymously if you don't want to pop your name in. Share anonymously. Because, you know, your words or your images may just help somebody else through something that they're struggling with. It's always about connection and just connecting the hearts together, the hearts and the minds, really connecting those together and just being with each other. And at this time of year, I know it's coming to the end of the year. A lot of people do struggle and I know I am one of those people. It's not my most favorite time of year. And to be honest, tomorrow is the anniversary of my little paparinos passing to the heavenly gates. So I'm really feeling it at the moment. The the 12 month anniversary of that is still quite raw with me and being or thinking of that just brings me back to that time that I was in last year and back to that reflection and what I've had this year and the good things that have happened as well but then reflecting on what I'll be doing over the break and yeah what 2023 will bring for me so exciting times ahead everybody i wish you all a beautiful year end you do merry christmas happy holiday whatever it is you do for year end or the holiday celebration if you have i am very much looking forward to heralding in the new year so love to hear your comments on that And I never make a New Year's resolution (laughs) ever because I never stick to it. I just like to see what flows. But if you've got a New Year's resolution, please share it. We'd love to hear. And I really look forward to seeing you all in the new year for an amazing 2023. I feel like it's been like a rebirth over the last couple of years, a rebirth of sorts. We've gone into this crazy little cocoon of I don't even know what little bit of craziness there and we're coming out the other end as these amazing creations so love to see what everybody has to create going forward and i wish you all well and i will talk to you all again in the new year so bye for now and happy 2022 (laughs) bye everyone